Howdy there YouTube, it's me, Sizzle Games, and here bringing you another episode of the Minecraft Fortress server! And in the last episode, we started on our castle tower thingy thing, and in this episode I will show you guys what I've done off screen, as the forest over there fades away for some reason. Anyways, this is what I have so far. I have done a bit too much off screen, I think, but yeah, this is what I have. Say hello, this is Tower McTowerstein, and yeah. I added some cobblestone to the edges just to give it a bit more depth, but this is what I have so far. Also, let me check something out with my horse, because my horse is acting really funky. Also, so is the map, so let me just reload this. Alright, um, so if I get off my horse, will it run away? Yep, oh, nope, nope, okay, never mind. Uh, earlier, this horse is like booking it every single time I got off of it, and it would just jump into this water, uh, and I thought I was going to drown, so as you can see, I put like that wa or that wood down right there. And I was gonna like, fl like completely cover it up with wood and just have it like kind of you know push it out or whatever of the water, um, you know cover up the water with wood, and then push it out of the water while using the wood as kind of like a staircase type thing. But then I just kind of hit it and it floated and I pushed it and then the episode started and <laughs> that's pretty much it. Okay, so in this episode. I think what I'm going to be doing is going back to the spawn where my bunny hole is. I'm going to work on my bunny hole a bit more. So I don't know if I should take this horse or not because it's a pretty treacherous journey. I have no idea. Oh, also one more thing before uh, I'm gone with this area. Oh, actually, two more things. Okay, so first of all, this horse and this sheep, as long as they stay in this water, they are Jimmy and Carl because they've been in this water for a very long time. <laughs> Mainly the horse. The sheep, I've seen it for like the past hour or so. Um... And when it comes to this structure, I think I want to make it maybe 5 or 10 blocks higher because this looks slightly stubby. Like the, the width and the length just don't really match that well. So I'm going to have to move that block a bit higher up because I'm, I'm just not digging it. So that's pretty much that. Okay, so back to my dilemma about taking my horse or not. Jimmy, or not Jimmy, your name is undefined right now. I have no idea what to name you. You're probably going to be crook number 3. Ugh! Get in the hole, please! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there you go. Um, also, I got plenty more diamonds, and I've ch I've enchanted quite a bit more. Uh, I think my enchantment stuff is maybe over there, or my enchanted stuff, I should say. I got this, also. Um, mainly the reason I got all these diamonds off screen is because I've been strip mining to get all the stone for this. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, while I was strip mining, I found quite a bit of diamonds. Um... So back to my dilemma, should I take my horse or go on a solo journey to zero zero, which is approximately a thousand blocks away? I think I might just want to take my horse because I do not have any food at all except for like two mushroom stews, and they don't exactly fill me up the greatest amount. Well, I mean, they, they give me quite a bit of hunger bar, but at the end of the day, their saturation isn't that great, and my health, or not my health, but my... um. My meat sticks start to go down pretty fast after the saturation goes all the way out. So I think we're going to be taking our horse. Our horse is going to finally get to see spawn. It's going to be great and wonderful and it's turning nighttime, which is not good. But I do believe that instead of boring you guys with the entire journey, should I just fast forward or skip through or what? I don't know. Maybe I want to show you guys the journey to get over there that t or this time around, especially since it's nighttime. It might be a bit more interesting than if it was daytime. Um, just kill some stuff so I could actually have some food for the journey. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of my heart for you. I, I don't even know how the song goes. Um, okay, so we're just going to go... We're, we're just going to be a tree horse at the moment. We are going to be a tree horse and just keep going this way. And is this a lava source or is this a torch source let's find out uh yeah that's lava okay uh, are we going the right way yes we are yes we are from pretty much right over in this direction it should be a straight shot uh well i mean a bit more to the left but for the most part a straight shot also we're missing all these sheep that we could possibly be eating uh whenever we get hungry but i'm pretty sure they probably have some way of eating over there at spawn we'll see we'll see how things go uh, ooh, crap, 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 I forgot, okay, so, 
since we're making this elevator all the way at spawn, I'm gonna need slime blocks. Dang it! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fade back to when we're over here again. Also, why is my F3 still open? Okay, uh, yeah, so I'll fade back to when that happens. So, see you guys in a second. Alright, and we're back. Um... And I decided to skip everything and just come over here mainly because, well, I had two reasons. First off, I didn't really feel like showing the entire voyage over here, mainly because, like, you know, it might have been extremely super boring, especially since I wasn't really fighting anything, I was just kind of dodging stuff. Uh, not to mention the fact that my horse was acting pretty darn laggy part of the way there, part of the way here. So, I just decided to skip the whole thing. So, yeah, okay. Horse, you stay out here. Please don't run away. Uh, actually, you want to come inside? Just, just stand right there. Just stand right there. Okay, don't don't leave. Please. Thank you. All right, so we're just going to go to sleep. I'm pretty sure Craig slept in my bed, which is nice and dandy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the smell of Python GB in the morning. Some good Craig action. All right. Um, Actually, I mean, I'm kind of already here. I was, I was about to, like, leave this place and be like, okay, so what am I going to do here? But... I just remembered that I'm here for this place, this area. Alright, so, horse, you get in there. Just stay there. Okay. Now, the real question is, how exactly do I do this? <laughs> it's been a while since I've made one of these elevator things. Uh, I practiced not too long ago, but I pr I'm pretty sure I forgot. I know I'm going to need, tor uh, not torches, well, redstone torches. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I should have been more prepared. Hold on. Let's see if someone else has redstone really fast. And if they do, we'll just steal it. Let's check Daniel, my number one stop and shop for uh, all things Minecraft. Let's go ahead and check that out. Please? Oh, yes, Daniel. You always pull through, man. You always pull through. I know we're not going to need seven, but I'm just going to take seven just in case. You never know what might happen. Skeleton, get out of my face for life. For life. Thank you. All right, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and make some stickies. Just all these. And that's enough. Okay, so the real question now is... I still have no idea how to do this. Well, I mean, I, I know the basics. I just don't know exactly 100% what to do. Okay, so one of these furnaces is going to be used to... Oh, crap. To cook food, because I need food. Uh, and the other ones come downstairs with me. Okay, so I want this elevator to maybe be one of the rooms. Like, this could be like a hallway type of thing. And each room could lead to a different thing. One of them leading to an elevator, which could lead to I have no idea what. But I guess since I accidentally just did that, that, or this could be where the elevator goes. Okay, so... First off, let's make all these into, or not all of these. I don't really need all of them to turn into slime blocks. Let's turn, oh wait, Ugh, crap. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm failing all over the place. Let me get to a crafting table up here. Also, I still need to eat. Come on, huh? Oh, a whole one piece. Well, I mean, I, I had these also. Uh, I guess we'll eat these and this. Okay, so... Crafting table. Crafting table. I guess I don't have one. Okay, let's just cut down a tree really fast. What tree should we cut down is an excellent question. I think we're just going to cut down this nice little birch tree. Just cut it down. Don't leave anything behind. Because then that would just look really silly, having a floating tree. Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. And there we go. Let's do that. And head back over to the bonnet, where we will put this right here, for now. It's not really staying there. Okay, uh, uh, okay, here we go. Let's just do that. One whole slime block, that's all we really need. And uh, let's head back down here. Actually, we do need more redstone, now that I think about it. Daniel, I'm coming back to you, baby. I'm coming back to you. Alright, let's do this. And I th I'm pretty sure this goes here. Okay, so next up, let's break... All of this. Just, just break it all. And... Oh, crap. I gotta really think about this. Actually, I, I don't know. I might have to break this. 
or not, I might have to break this. I might have to um, make this one deeper here. I'm going to fade in or s swipe whatever I do now, whatever, um, until I actually know what I'm doing. So give me a second. Okay, and we're back once again, and I think I got the basic gist of it, I hope, maybe? So I got some more things that I'm going to need, because, you know, I, I still had plenty of things I was missing. So I'm just going to try to build this uh, to the best of my ability, and we're going to see how this turns out. So we're going to need furnaces like that, and then something like... Uh, like... Wait, oh... Okay, well, actually, this is correct. Like, oh, we're going to need this furnace right here, but I'm pretty sure it's cooking. Oh, well, it's not cooking anymore. Okay, yep, so we're just going to take this one, and we're going to get the one upstairs. Oh, the one upstairs, or the one outside, I guess. Uh, that one's going to be the one that we use for smelting anything else we have to smelt. All right, so how am I getting out of here? Let me just break out through here. Okay, so... Here, I'm just going to expand this a bit more, because we're going to need some room. We're going to need just a little bit of room. And let me put down a torch right over here. All right. So, next up, what we need to do is place down any block right here. So, I guess this is fine. And then redstone it up right there. All right. Also, here, let me just make some room like this, because, well, we're going to need this room. Okay. Just break all of it. I don't really know how high we should go, so this is fine for now. Okay, so next up, what I do believe we have to do is place down some blocks. Well, this is the real dilemma, because, well, I mean, I could replace this at any time, but, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure I want this to be maybe pink wool or something. So, for now, we're just going to stack with pink wool for as much as possible, which is only, like, this much. Um, let's see. And then from there, I guess we can just use andesite, whatever. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, crap. Uh, gotta, gotta build even higher, break even higher, whatever. Just break all of it every single last little bit. And I'm missing. I didn't mean to break that one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break that little bit. Okay. Now that we're in the dirt layer, this isn't exactly the hardest thing in the world. And we're we're here. We are here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is fine, whatever. Okay. Uh one, two, three, four? I think it's four layers high. I should have paid it a bit more attention. If there's anything that I am questioning, I'll just Sorry about that. That was some weird like fuzz thing about to enter my mouth. Like just particle in the air. Anyways, um, if anything is, like, confusing me, I'll just swipe until I get back to, like, here and when I actually know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me just eat some food, because I'm, I'm dying over here. Not really, but I'm close to no meats, or I was close to, to no meat sticks. Okay, so next up, what we gotta do is, I think, something like... It? No, I don't know. Like, I can't remember. Oh crap. I should have paid more attention. Okay, I think it's like that. And then from there, we do this. Okay. And we do... I think this. But I think this turns into a repeater. So let me go ahead and start repeating this jank if you know what I'm saying. Do a little bit of that. And then make it to four ticks. And then there. And there and make that to four ticks oh crap well i mean i think this is right i think so i mean I, I, it goes up so i guess it's right okay so now what we got to do is something like this so we do that then wait oh crap gotta break this and eh, whatever just do that okay and then we do that and i think this might be as high as it needs to go. And then from here, I am very confused as what to do next. Also, <laughs> for the falling floor. Forgot to mention that. Um, I think that's... I think that's right. Okay, so give me a second while I go check once again what I'm supposed to do in my creative world. And the only reason I'm not showing you guys my creative world is because I also have part of the tower built 
on there, so I don't really want to spoil what the tower is going to look like. So see you in a second. All right, I'm back. And I have realized something. Also, I pushed this back a bit more, but I realized that I forgot to put down a redstone torch right here. So I was wondering why this slime block would not go down. And that's the reason. So now all we have to do is fix this tick mark. Also, up here, I'll show you guys what I did. I'll, I'll, I'll break it and show you guys what I did again. Okay, so uh let's just do that and break this and break this okay so this was the last redstone torch that i placed down at the very top so pretty much right behind it i placed down this block i then put down a redstone dust right there and i put two pistons right there then whatever block i want right here i'm going to change the block at some later point but i'm just showing you guys this elevator for this episode uh all the pretty stuff will come later i guess okay so that's pretty much that so let's see if it works. If I get pushed up and then pushed. Yes, okay, so that does work. Good, good, good. So now all I have to do is something like that. And I guess I just realized, I just realized something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make this go to the side if I want this to be like leading to another room because if not, this is leading to literally the exact same floor, which is kind of dumb. <laughs> But, I'll show you guys how it works anyways. But, yeah, expect this to be facing maybe this way. Like, like, I'll, I'll start it, like, this entire thing is gonna be in this wall, so it gets put, so I get pushed into maybe a room over here. Which would be kinda cool. Okay, so anyways, we push this, we get pushed, and then we get pushed, and we come back up here! Which was pretty pointless, but that's pretty much that! So, I guess... I've done plenty of swipes in this episode, plenty of fade outs, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to do it one more time, and this will be built the correct, facing the correct way. So, give me one more second, please. I'm sorry for all of these jump cuts. Alrighty. <laughs> and as a special little treat, until I actually get this going, I actually made it Neapolitan, like, you know, style, which is kind of cool, I guess. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I already created the layer where I should be landing on. Let's do this. And boom. Yes, we have created an elevator. One final look in case you guys are trying to rebuild it. This isn't exactly the greatest tutorial in the world, but it really shouldn't be hard to find on YouTube how to make this. So yeah, all right. Well, I think that's going to end off this episode, guys. Uh, in the next episode... Expect a little bit more to be done in this bunny hole, as well as more to be done in the tower. If I have any inspirations on anything I should do, then I will probably be recording it. But for now, I really don't have exactly a plan for the next thing to do. But I do honestly have to pay back Daniel for all the materials that he's supplied me with. I took some iron ore, so I should probably just give that back because I didn't really use too much of it. Anything else? Uh, for sure... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's giving me more stuff than just redstone and iron, so I, I, I really can't think of it at this current moment. Here, you can have a piston. Why not? Um, all right. Well, I think that's going to end up this episode, guys, so thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.